Flooding is the deadliest weather threat to the Carolinas and is the most common of all weather related natural disasters that happens in all 50 states. Let's learn more now about floods in this week's Weather IQ with Chris. Flooding is the deadliest weather threat to the Carolinas and is the most common of all weather related natural disasters. It also happens in all 50 states. Let's learn more about floods in this week's Weather IQ. Flooding has no season. It can happen any time of year with flash flooding being the most deadly. For instance, some of the worst flooding in recent years happened November 12th of last year in Alexander County, when the Hidden Eye Campground was swallowed up by an extension of the South Yadkin River. Over 30 people were rescued, but sadly five people lost their lives, including a one-year-old child. Flash flooding is defined when flooding begins within the first six hours of a heavy rainfall event or other cause. Other causes can be from storm surge, a dam or levee break, melting snow, ice, or ice jams. The deadliest flooding to ever happen in the United States happened May 31st, 1889 in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. A dam broke upstream, creating a 36 to 40 foot wall of water that killed 2,200 people. More than half the modern flood deaths occur in vehicles when people try to drive through floodwaters. Every meteorologist says turn around, don't drown, because you never know the condition of the surface under the floodwaters. Some other facts to know. Six inches of fast moving water is enough for you to lose control of your vehicle and certainly knock you down. And 18 to 24 inches can carry away a large vehicle. When warned for a flash flooding event, there are three tiers. The most common is a base warning. But whenever the wireless alert system notifies you on your phone, that means the event is either considerable or catastrophic, which also means it's life threatening. With WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy. For more insights like that, you can check out the Weather IQ YouTube page. You can scan the QR code there on your screen. There it is. With your iPhone, you can take it right there. Interesting for me, especially now the, the new warnings that we have out mm -hmm. there make people aware in those situations. I tell you, I, I have yeah. covered at this point dozens uh, of floods in, in my career, and it's always heartbreaking to see yeah. how surprised people usually are. Yes. Uh, um, and how, how permanent fast. how permanent the damage is. Yeah. And I could show you the images right there on the package, but it's not until you're really a part of it that it's that bad. No. And think about I've only been here three years, and we've covered uh, Florence. We had that hidden night campground. There's also been multiple other flooding events. Yeah. And then on top of that, just recently, even those outside of our viewing area, there was another campground that was flooded. And those are flash floods. Flash floods, yeah. and yeah. they can happen just like that. And as we mentioned right off the top, that is our biggest threat here in the Carolinas. So whenever you're under a flood watch, that means that things can happen real quickly, especially with those thunderstorms. Take it seriously. Luckily, none of that's talk about. Cool.